hello all. Welcome. Welcome along to the stream. Hello everybody. We're inside the flight deck of Concord here, sat on stand 420 over at Terminal 4. Hello everybody. Say hello in the chat. Um, lovely to see you all. Uh, well, we'll get sort of cracking then. Um, Daniel, hello. Uh, our flight today is going to take us up to the cold waste of Ramemni with a quick fuel stop in Helsinki. We can make it all the way to Ramemni, but it's nice to have a quick stop in Helsinki for a bit of fun. So, we're in version 3 of the Collimata Concorde over here in X-Plane 12 rather than 11 as we normally are. If we had a look outside, you can see the sort of quality of the graphics and everything are looking really good. It's looking very sharp. It is raining slightly, so we will get some rain effects starting to go on the ground and then eventually on our on our screens. There's a Concorde off to uh, I forgot the code uh, Washington uh, Washington, I believe. He's making his way out, and then there are two Concords going up to Helsinki today. We've got a bit of programming to do. If we up inside, we've got a bit of stuff to do. I'm getting there, though, um, so we will be sh ready to go very shortly. So we'll turn on our fuel heaters and our secondary air doors as we'll be taking off with uh, full reheats today. We set the INS to the nav position. Uh, we are fairly heavy, 64 tons of fuel on board. Um, and we've got a uh, full full load of passengers on board. So we are fairly heavy. We head down into our programming over here. I've just got a lot in our waypoints for today, which we're starting with Detling. Uh, these have been created by Daniel, so thanks very much to Daniel. Uh, it's north 5118.2. And it's west uh, 00035. Zero, 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 Decimal 8. Waypoint 2 is Koppel. That's our acceleration point for today. That's our first acceleration point. We're going to be accelerating up to supersonic speeds as we uh, cross out over the, uh, the Thames Estuary Way and uh, shoot out over the North Atlantic. But then uh, from there, we're then going to have to decel, decelerate back down to subsonic speeds as a uh, Copenhagen control is often very unimpressed if we uh, break the sound bar over their airspace. So as a result, we're going to be slowing back down um to subsonic speeds before reaccelerating the other side of the uh, of the island and making our way back up north there's going to be a lot of programming of waypoints today as um, we've got quite a lot of waypoints in a fairly short route um just because of the way flying around Europe works so uh, sh lots of programming to come and uh, it should be good fun just getting the final couple of waypoints in here is Diz Dizra, which is north five three two zero decimal zero west. Oh, was that east? Ah, uh, sorry guys, <laughs> I put in the waypoints wrong. I've been typing the wrong way. I'm very sorry. I have to do that again. It's north five one one eight two east. Zero 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 three five eight. I'll quickly shoot through them again. Apologies about that. Three point three Logan North five one four four nine East zero zero one three six seven. Insert. Way point four then is uh, Sono. As they I uh, messed up there, I've uh, not typed them in correctly. Oh. Five two zero six L Vatari. Hello. How nice to see you. How you doing? East zero zero two one six two. Sumo. Hello. Way point five this is the boring bit of the flight, unfortunately. Two one eight four East. Zero, zero, two, three, eight, six. We've got a yoke cam set up today for a bit of Concord action, so we will be uh, we'll be able to see what I'm up to. Although Concord doesn't use much movement, it's a very, very um, precise plane. Um, so it, uh, so you can see what I'm up to. Oh, gas me. I'm not typing in properly, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, this is normally a bit quicker. Five, three, two, zero. Different waypoints to what we normally get just shooting across the Atlantic. There, that's not worked again. Hold on. No boring bits in Pillar Pilot streaming. <laughs> Thank you. Five, 
Ay, ay, ay. Hold on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I keep clicking the wrong note. So, 53200 zero, zero, East. 0, zero, 0, 4, 2, 5, 2. There we go. 3.7. 5, 4, 1, 4, 9. East. 0, 0, 6, 3, 0, 0. So, 8. Is leg P, which is north five four four one four east zero zero seven four zero two, and our final waypoint of this round of programming is five four five four zero eastings zero zero eight forty seven zero. Right, just a quick, quick check through, make sure I haven't made any errors I did the other day and uh, went wildly off course. So, 51182, that's correct. East, 00358, that's good. Waypoint 2. Yep. 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 Good. That is then done. We're all checked and ready to go. So, we'll get our Q&H set for London Heathrow. There's quite a lot of ATC online, so we'll have to be making sure this runway... Arrival runway 27 left, departure runway 27 right. At 3 o'clock, they're changing to runway 27 right for landing. So that's they've just changed 27 right. Q&H 1036. Mission Golf, right, okay, so set up our basic speed of 250. Let's get a clearance then. So we're going to be going to Heathrow Approach on 119725. So turn on the radio stack there. 119725. There we go. Good, as he's doing that, we're all happy pretty much. Uh, right, let's get going. He said, Director, Speed Cockle 273 on stand 420, requesting IFR clearance up to Helsinki, please, information golf on board. We dropped our request for in. We'll have to have a hold on, see what he wants to give us. So we're over here at T4, this is where Concord used to operate. Now it's mainly used by PIA airlines. Uh, uh, they often like to park down here. Around the corner, that's mainly where it's used. Not bad. Of course, they may, na may now operate uh, 27 right. Depends who we've got on the line. They might let us take off from 27 left. But uh, often we're sent across. Who's this? Royal Jordan Air Cargo and an Airbus A300. Lovely. And who's these guys? British Airways and a Virgin Atlantic. And we've got someone down there. Who's that? Get Jet. Lovely. Bit of plane spotting over here at Heathrow. Who's this down here? A Swiss and a Brussels. How oh, lovely. And back to us. Oh, we've got a Concorde on the other stand next to us. Again, the models are slightly wrong here. That's why they appear further back than they actually are. Which can get some uh, stuff connected up to us. Let's get that GPU online. We've got the gate open here and the passengers are boarding. Everything else as I've done pretty much before, so we're all good.
Inside the flight deck then, whilst he's uh, taking his time going to start clearance, uh, which is no problem, I think we've got a bit confusing on here. Slide back the seat, because uh, we've got the double acceleration, I think it's slightly confusing. Uh, so, slide back the seat and we'll get up to the charts. We're expecting to have the Detling to Foxtrot departure. I've got a taxi chart with me here, so... Right. Now, if we're given the Detling 2 Fox short departure, it's going to be 27 right departure, I assume, which will be 113 decimal 6 in London, uh, till 2 DME from London, where we'll then be turning left, heading 136. So we'll set up 136 there and pull it out. Our next one will be a 0901, so we want to put that in our radial. 091, take out the easier thing, it's open the Avi tab here. Towards Detling, which is 117 decimal 3. All the way across to Detling at that point. The initial climb will be about 6,000 feet, so we'll set that in there. And we'll look for 250 knots on departure. Nice tight turn on departure, so that'll be quite good fun. No turns below, we'll just read the notes, sorry, may I get that up. bring that back up. So, no turns below 590 feet. Um, and we need to not climb above 6,000 until indicated to do so. Yep. Just got to make sure we're climbing nicely here. 2 DME from London. We need to be above 590 feet. We should be. We're not that heavy. So that's fine. Set a vertical speed of about 200 feet. Or 2,000 feet per minute. On the overhead, everything looks all good. Down in the back, everything again it seems all fine at the moment. We're not really looking to do anything. Uh, we just look to start up our fuel uh, engine soon, so we'll get the feed pumps on. So it looks like on departure, we've got London Middle and East controllers online. So hopefully, because we've still got the director. We'll have made our left-hand turn on the Detling and we'll be on the heading control, heading towards Epsom um, before we get handed off. So we'll be on autopilot at that point, so we don't need to worry about getting uh, stuff programmed up already, as we should be good. 316 is the Epsom, we can put that in. Down in the ADF. with me. Uh, Alright, we'll just have a look. So shift plus T to bring up the habitat to for a second. Oh, you're right, it's probably not a bad idea. <laughs> i have to get that done when we uh, hop off. I'll set my little bug up to 250 knots to give us a nice gate 420. Thanks very much, Kevin Higgins. It's nice, isn't it? It's a good little one. Um, it's good, yeah. I think uh, normally 421 or 419 we've got company Concord, so uh, 420 we're happy to be on. At speed one to our right, heading up to JFK. We're just waiting for our clearance at this point, but um, we're happy our passengers are starting to board the aircraft and finishing up boarding. No problem, Pillow. No, thank you. That's good. Right. Not particularly much we can do. Set the clock to chrono. We can't start our engines really because we need to make sure we have some pushback clearance to do that. Um, we get a start clearance to push back. I'm in a Zoom meeting as well. Ah, okay, no worries. <laughs> well, if you're done by the time we get to Helsinki, feel free to give us a shoot up to uh, Ravemni with us. I'm just trying to get cracking. Let's see if we can get our pushback clearance just to remind him we want stuff. Uh, 
This one is a re -re that's really difficult in Concord, especially with all the programming. I'm not particularly happy if that's all he does, because uh, that's quite annoying. It's with 273, sorry, what's the problem with our route? Understood, 273. Oh, we'd be given a new one. God. BPK Q295 SOM. That's okay, let's have a look, see then. Got to do a bit of re. Yeah, those buttons. Okay, yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got um uh, on the yoke, which we'll be sporting today, which has come up on the yoke camera when we depart. I've got a, a nice little one there, so I hopefully we'll use that. So he's taking us out to Somver. Problem is we can't do airways with visual. Let's have a look. See, so we got Footman's Park. Okay, it's down here somewhere. Search it. Oh, it's airports, my bad. B P K. Brookman's Park. There. Right. Okay. 117.5. Well, we'll put that over in the first officer's side. But the uh, problem is to go from Brookman's Park on the Q295 airway. We ca we can't fly airways. It's a problem. We need coordinates and stuff. Um, just because of the way things work. So we'll, we'll have to get vectors out to Sonog or Somber, wherever he wants us to go. Um, Speed 273, we've just received your reroute then. Uh, happy to accept. As it is, proceed 273, cleared on the Brooklyn's Park 7 Foxtrot departure, Squawk 2277. As to be with 273, request push and start. Ah, someone else. Right, so we clear the Brooklyn's Park. Okay, we can just about do this. It's probably is following the airway afterwards. It's going to be a bit faff. So, the departure. Once at 3 DME from London, we turn right. Doesn't have a radial for us. Ah, 2907. Right, okay. It's going to be 297 at the right turn to. So I'll pull that out because we'll be going right to 297. Sorry, let me get the AVI tab on here so you can see what I'm looking at. <laughs> I was doing it on the uh, Navigraph outside. Right, 297. There we go, like that. Yeah. 297 towards Burnham. Then from there, we're going to continue on a right hand turn up to 064. Towards 117.5. And that's going to be using the different radials on our way out to slowly make a big turnaround. Okay. Right, let's get pushed back. It's Fever Concord 273 ready for push and start. Push start approved through 273. Superb, let's get cracking, ladies and gentlemen. So, toast driving up. Don't we'll wait for Dan, but we're just going to get rid of these gates and things. Just go away. There we go. Pushback's coming over. Right. Fuel's all up and running. We'll open up our cross bleed facility for departure, and the engine air bleeds are all lovely and on. On the overhead, then. Oh, no, sorry. Down here. Start up engine number two. As engine number two starts, there it comes up, anti collision lights go on, and engine number two high fuel pressure goes in. The aircraft is now starting. 
we start two engines on stand and then the other two off stand uh, just the way Concorde works unfortunately but, uh, we didn't have an APU on board and so we'd have to start both our engines on stand to have cross feed for either side the other thing is the engine systems are in uh, independent so one or two are separate from three and four um, and as a result because they're separate systems I don't want to set the like that. Hold on, bear with me. No. There we go. So because they're two separate systems, we have to start two engines. So uh, that's how that one goes down. Although, I've noticed on V3, they start quite quickly. So there we go, we're supposed to wait now. We're waiting for the ends to rise. See our exhaust gas temperatures, N1 and everything starting to rise. 20% fuel valve goes on and there goes the engine starting up brilliant at this point we've got engine 2 started what we want to do at this point is open up the hydraulic valves and the electrics and turn on the boost conditioning valves so that we now have pressure from that engine once the other one starts we'll do the same thing there we go turn them on we can close the electrical SSB get rid of the GPU if it wants to go no okay <laughs> it certainly is an interesting plane right there we go if it needs to adjust the end of start time yeah apart from that it's very much nearly though isn't it if we get the uh, pushback goes very quickly right we can lower the first stage of nose there we don't sorry not nose first stage of uh, visor uh, on our on our flight here, that gives us a bit of better visibility when we're pushing back. We can see some ground staff and everything and what they're up to on our way back. Lovely. So we've got two engines running. We've got to get the other couple of guys running as we start our push. So back inside, fire up four. Got the gens on for two and three. And the boost conditioning valves on. On the overhead, we'll get uh, fuel valve on. Disappear when you start PB. What do you mean by PB? Sorry, yeah, uh, Kevin. Oh yeah, stop pushbacks. Yeah, yeah, it will, won't it? But uh, normally I click it off to be nice, you know. Ground crew not scrambling as we start moving. <laughs> right. We're clear on the Brookman's Park 7 Fox Trot, so we're going to be going off 27 right. So we've got a bit of a taxi out, but uh, that's quite good fun. Yeah, push back. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> There's the Virgin Atlantic and British Airways guys out there. We're in a lovely, lovely uh, nose view there, looking out across the plane. Right, that engine's started up, so we get the engine 4 stuff on and the valves on. Now we've got three engines. We can turn on the uh, drain and generators uh, for the cabin stuff and get the uh, boost conditioning valve on. And we can shut the cross bleeds for those two engines as they don't need to be talking to each other anymore. Uh, we can then go ahead and fire up engine number one. I think, I'm a, I think I'm a little bit high in my seating position here. Trying to get it into the right position, you know? Right. I think that's a bit better. Right, there we go. Parking brake set. So, TCAS is all online. Now he's disconnecting. We can go ahead and set the ground idles to low, the brake fans on, and the control schedule to fly over. Turn on the fuel valve for engine number one as he fires up. The seatbelt signs are all on, and the uh, British Airways safety briefing will be taking place at this moment. The sun is starting to set over Heathrow, and it's getting late. So, just trying to get my seating position here right. I think I'm a little bit far. A little bit close, maybe. Oh no, that's a bit far away. Very difficult to get the uh, sitting <laughs> seating position right. Yeah. I think that's about right. Right. All engines are now running. So boost conditioning valves on, hydraulics on, electrics on. Close the cross speeds. Thank you very much. He's off. See you next time. And have a safe See you next time. Ciao. So, fuel valves wise, I like to set this one to auto, and then we'll do that rest of it on the taxi. So, 
Taxi rise. Taxi lights go on. Uh, rest of it will do on taxi. Nose needs to be set to the five degree down position. And it's this point we do a flight control check. So let's get the lovely camera online. Hello, everybody. So here we go. Flight control check. Full down. Full up. And I'm actually looking as I'm doing this down here on this little system here. Full left. Full right. Full flight control deflection there. And neutral position. Nice and steady. So, you see the throttles over here on this side too. Um, which is pretty good. Just sorting out some system. You see the headphone wire there coming down. Right, so. Cool. Okay. Right, let's, uh, if you're happy for us to get tax clearance, Daniel, we're blocking you, aren't we? So we'll, we'll try and get out of your way. But we'll go very slowly across. Really soft parking brake. Sat on the brakes at this point. We'll wait for him to get his uh, clearance, then we'll get a taxi. Oh, he's got it wrong. We'll have to hang on. There's some people departing out there, look. And Super Concord 273 ready for taxi. Straight ahead, holding Sierra Bravo 3. Yeah, holding short 27 left. Speed 273. Right, a bit of power there. I'm using the Boeing, uh, Boeing yokes, or Boeing yoke and throttle set here. And there we go. We're rolling. We're off, ladies and gentlemen. So I've got the nose wheel steering on the little thing here. So that's how I do my steering. We're off. Right, I have got a big chart. A big, massive, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, massive Heathrow chart. We're down here in T4. This is a big paper chart thing. Um, so, same gas, yeah, we would go 27 left, but he's given us 27 right, I believe. Oh no, Sierra 1, didn't he? So, he's going to give us 27 left, actually. Sierra 1, that's where we normally go. Happy with that. That's happy days if that's, if that's where we're going. Right, lovely. So, taxi clearance then. Oh, taxi, I'll just make this turn. But, uh, pressure static heaters need to go on. Uh, and then the auto ignition and auto throttle need to go on. Oh, I'm going to shoot past the turning here. Whoop. Bit of a turn there. Round the corner. There, yeah, lovely. Look at that. Lovely bird. We'll take our time as we taxi out. So if we're going from uh, 27 left, he hasn't quite told us yet, but uh, if we're going from 27 left, it's going to be immediately after departure when able right to 907 to heading towards Berman on 421. So we better get that put in. Uh, oh, does I forgot about the a a a uh, ADS doesn't seem to want to work. A a a a uh, what is it? ADF doesn't want to work. That's right. right, a bit of power there. But, uh, Struggling to taxi. There we go. There we go, moving. So, on our taxi, I then take off monitor and go on at this point, and we'll do a bit of fuel shuffling and uh, get the flight engineer to trim us for takeoff. There we go, he's trimmed us for takeoff at this point. Lovely jubbly. And the D-Air can go on in the tanks. They're on auto. We'll check these ones are in auto too. I'm keeping a bit of brake pressure on there just to not let us roll too far away. Flyover is set. Low idle set. Fuel panels are all looking good. Next thing we've got to do is arm the burners for departure. But apart from that, I believe I'm just checking we've done everything. Yeah, we're ready to go. Doesn't look like there's any aircraft on final, so I think that's why I've been sent this way. Radar can go on, we'll just check. Get that sort of. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Speed 273, uh, 7 Golf, runway 27 left. Uh, speed Concorde 273. Understood. 
I think he's checked. There must have been a runway change in progress. So that's why I've been sent out here. Uh, hey, I don't no comp no complaints here. This is uh, this is good fun. Jared, how's X Plane 12 running for you? Very well, thank you. It's um it's going very well. Um, I'm in I'm enjoying flying this aircraft especially. It's quite good fun. So thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's good fun. Engine monitor, yes, got that one on. Take monitor on there. Just uh, hold short here. Don't want to go too far. Wait to stop there. And set our parking brake. Oh, engine monitor. Right. So to, to, to do the limiter, we can set to the normal position. Uh, that's about it, isn't it? If I miss something. Oh, yes. 1500 hours of runway change. Yeah, yeah. Spot on. Superb. Thank you. <laughs> we're, uh, we're ready to go. Aircraft coming in. I think we got an aircraft landing. Center panel engine monitor. Uh, so in here, this one. Center panel engine monitor. Oh, have I missed it? Oh, down here is it? Center panel. Engine monitor white button. That one, take up monitor that one, or uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Explain 11 player, uh, Tao Chan. Would you recommend the upgrade to Explain 12? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think I probably would. This does. No. Sorry, uh, what game is this? This is X-Plane 12, yes. Um, uh, would you recommend the upgrade to X-Plane 12? I think I probably would. The visual is just incredible. So I think it's definitely worth the upgrade. The visual's amazing. I mean, look, we've got a, a s behind us, if you can have a look there, spinning radar tower. Now, that's kind of X-Plane 11 stuff, but it's the quality of this look is amazing. Now that is, that's screenshot worthy, that is for me. That is lovely. No, Daniel, you're finally pushing, yeah. I'll just tell him we're holding. We've been uh, holding for a while here. Maybe there's someone landing. <laughs> On the same one you look at as well. That same one you look... You what? Performance wise, X Plane 12 runs and performs better than X 11. The clouds aren't yet there in X Plane 12. Yeah, it does. I think I, I think that'd probably be a fair fair thing, Jared. I think that's probably right. Uh, Speed of Cockle 273, holding short 27 left, uh, ready for departure. Land from 27 left, Speed of Cockle 273. Right, we're rolling onto the runway. In due course, I'll sort it out. Yeah, some point there will. 
Right. Arm the afterburners. The afterburners armed. And we're entering the runway here, so we'll make sure we've got all our lights on. So turn-off lights can go off and on as well. And those landing lights can go on. We're waiting these the big ones that they cause a bit of buffeting in flight. Uh, in reality, and often not used, especially if it's bright day like today. Just not worth it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Full toga supersonic, or not <laughs> no, full uh, Concorde departure. So I've got to make sure I'm clear of what I'm doing. Turn 297. Climbing nicely at the 6DME point from London. We make another right turn. Okay. Right, with DME point down is down here on the bottom left. Who's that? Brussels Airlines. There's loads of people doing stuff at Heathrow today. Doing a little cross arm thing here to get across. Here we are. Here we go. Right, we haven't been go told to go yet. Chrono's all set. We're ready to just throttle up and slam open the throttle. Flight controls are all good. Let's get a nice screenshot of that. Look in the clouds. That's quite a good screenshot there, looking down. Lovely. We're all ready to go. Just check the flight engineer panel. He's all ready to go on here. For him to take off. We'll tell him we're ready to go. Speedway Concorde 273, ready to go. Oh, he's doing something else. It's got a, look, an Airbus A321 there. Lovely. Here we are. Clear for takeoff runway 27 left. We've got 273. Thank you. And 3, 2, 1, now. Clock set. Throttle opened. Here it comes. There goes the he reheats opening up. They're cross rolling. Oh, well, no, not that one. Not that one. That one. There we go. <laughs> SB building. 90 knots. 100. Power is set. Confirmed. 120. 140. Where you are. Rotate. Positive rate. There we go. Gear slips up. Continue our climb, pitching up, pitching up. 250 knots and reducing power. Again, a little bit quick, so we'll just reduce that power and start our right hand turn. We'll select 250 knots in the speed, and we're coming right to 907 as per our departure. i keep the pitching of the nose up there. Oh, it's dropping slightly. Coming up 297 there. There we go. Struggling to pitch the nose up on autopilot. One one eight four seventy five. Speedway Concorde two seventy three. Bye bye. One one eight decimal four seven five. Speedway two seventy three. Bye bye. Speedway Right, I've got to get this pitching up here. We're sort of holding altitude. Land control. Speedway Concorde two seventy three. With you. Climb now. Flight level one five zero. Speedway two seventy three. 
six miles. So there goes the right hand turn. Nice and gently then all the way around the corner. So I think it wants to be trimmed to flight at this point. The aircraft um Yeah, there we go. V three likes to be trimmed a lot earlier than uh V two is what I've noticed. So I'll fly this bit manually all the way around this turn. You can see on the Abbey tab is what I'm aiming to do. Take off monitor can go off, turn off lights and landing lights and taxi lights can all go off. Oh, you're trying to hold the nose nice and level. All the way around to 053. We'll tighten that up just a little bit. 053 and then essentially 064 toward uh, 1175 on a heading of 064. There we are. And there's that VOR just coming by there. That was a little bit busy, that little bit there. Lots of trim there on the stick, just trying to hold up the nose. There we are. Leveling the nose there. A little bit of wobble there. And there we go. We are accelerating away from he London Heathrow, ladies and gentlemen, in a different direction to what we normally do. We're heading north this time. With the VOR lock one up, we'll get the flight directors on. Two seventy three increasing climb. Right, altitude climb, vertical speed, autopilot on. Right, it's doing a little wander whilst they engage the autopilot. Autopilot's now on. Right, he wants base rate of climb, let's get that let's give him a rate of climb to talk about. God look at the black smoke shooting out behind the plane. <laughs> Look at that, puffing out the back. Ooh, crazy black smoke. Right, there we go. How are we holding? 4,000 feet per minute. That is... Oh, that's a tough climb. That is a 17-degree climb. That is steep. That's really steep. Right, we are climbing beautifully. Let's just get that VOR lock on. There we go. Next is going to be on to the INS navigation, but um, because of where we're popping out, it's going to be slightly more confusing. Daniel, how's things going? Not too much for X mate. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, we're popping up through, uh, what's this, what's this? We're going to reduce our climb rate a little bit there and allow ourselves up. Aircraft is 1,000 feet below us, I think that's the aircraft he wanted us to get above. So we're good to get our acceleration up now. And let's get cracking, we'll reduce our climb rate and bring the nose up one. Look at that, there goes the nose up. <laughs> Oh, this is the best bit of the flight. I love this. Absolutely love this bit. So exciting. Nose comes up and we start to accelerate. Accelerate getting faster and faster. I love this bit. I'm going to get rid of the uh, yoke cam now, guys. We'll see that later on landing. Superb. Oh, I love this bit. 300 knots. Right, I'll bring the visor up. And we're reducing our climb rate there. You still went for takeoff clearance. Ah, sorry, mate. It takes a while. You make sure you badger him to get going. <laughs> Well, uh, of course, we'll be waiting for you in uh, Helsinki. It's just our refueling stop. Anytime you're ready. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Taking my time getting it up. Right, you want us on the uh, the older Quebec 295 airway from here, didn't he? So, that is that one. <laughs> It'll work out. Right, that one. Yeah, there you go. Right. Okay. Not particularly helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll head to Sonog pretty much, which is 
Sonarg, waypoint four. So it'll be from zero to four. Will be or from yeah, from zero to four I think. Slot one five one five, fly, Mac decimal seven four or less. And if I check on the tablet you can see essentially the route it's now drawn. Just, uh, just a direct to number four sonar. Go on to a heading hold mode. And as we continue our climb, we'll select three two zero knots. And then we're looking to accelerate pretty much as soon as we're over the sea, really. We're still over the land, so we're just slowly making our way up to the 150, which we're levelling at there. Right, this is where the problem may arise. I do not have the Quebec 295 airway. Uh, Right, we'll go right by 10 degrees, and hopefully he won't tell us off. Speedbird Concorde 273 just parked through Bookman. Flight level 280, route direct somber, Speed with Concord 273, thank you very much. Booyah, that's exactly what we're looking for, that is waypoint 0 to 5, insert that, waypoint change, INS navigation, shabam. And we are going direct somber. Just check that is somber. Yes. Yes, that's somber. Superb, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Get rid of this tablet. Yay! Right, so 350 knots can be selected up there. So we continue our climb. This is, of course, Daniel's route, so uh, we're relying on it is good calculation, which, of course, it is. I've uh, had a little look over. It's very, very good. So we are on. What's our frequency that we're on? 119725. I keep. 450. What? I hope that, oh yeah, ground speed wise. Right, that's our Mac 0.7 checklist there we're going to go for. So brake fans go off, engine control shells are going to the normal position, and our engine rating can go to normal. And we're checking we've got no warning lights above, and the lights are on, off outside. Everything's all good as we slowly chug our way up to uh, cruising altitude, or intermediate of 28,000. We've got 90 nautical miles to converse until we head towards, or heading towards Somber. Look at that, gorgeous. So, this flight's going to be quite interesting. We're going to have two supersonic accelerations. So we're going to accelerate up over the North Sea, shooting our way up towards Esberg in, uh, near Denmark. And uh, from there, we will then desol uh, rapidly uh, as we head over Copenhagen. A little turn will take us near Rostock in uh, north of Germany, where we then make our way out over the Balearic Sea, um, accelerating once again up to supersonic speeds uh, for our arrival in Helsinki before we decelerate again. So we're going to have a, a sort of two. Where you get the routing data uh, in the Discord? Uh, in the Discord, there it's all up uh, in there in the general chat. You get the link for that coming up in the chat. But uh, let me go on, let me smash the route we're flying in today into the main chat. It's quite a big route, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Here it comes. Discord is starting, there we go. Getting a linking, guys. Sorry, there we go. Da -da -da -da. Superb. That's through two one zero. Then We're making a nice progress. Oh. Five 
Oh no! X plane's not responding, guys. I'm sorry. I think we're gone. Yep, yeah, gone. Ah, oh, it's crashed. That's ah, oh, that's really annoying. Ah, uh, what a shame. What a shame. That's that's really annoying. Uh, reboot it up. Sorry, guys. That's a real shame. I can't open Discord, obviously, at the same time. It uh, crashes. Uh, right, bear with me. I'm gonna figure out uh, what to uh, what to do. Um. I haven't really got time to do that whole thing again, so I'm gonna have to figure out that. Yeah, right, let me figure out. Ta -ta -ta. Okay, hang on. I'm going to say, Darius, thank you for the sub. I've just seen that. So, thank you. But uh, unfortunately, we're not streaming. Uh, right, what's the plan of action? Firstly, Steam won't reopen, so you have to bear with me. But, uh, it seems to have frozen my computer as well, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, right. Tell you what, we could do. Best option is we could do a winter. We could do a little trip if we want to up from Helsinki to Rovendi. That was going to be the second part of our leg today. That was, um, but we could do that if uh, if if that be if that was what people like would like to do. Uh, let me know in the chat if you're happy. Happy to shoot, at, have a shoot at that. That uh, that might be our little little trip up north. Um, as unfortunately, 50 minutes is quite a lot. Um, a start up and everything. If we were to do the same route again, I'll try and fix Steam at the same time. So yeah, let me know if you're happy with that. Tell you what, in the background, let me put uh, let me put something on stream so it's not quite so boring. There you go. Well, that's going to play. I'm sorting myself out here, so bear with me, guys. I am still here, though. <laughs> but uh, you can look at some of the cool Concord things we've done in the past. But um, let me try and sort out a little thing. Let's see if I can get this up and cracking. Believe it or not, the one you're seeing currently, that's uh, landing at Copenhagen in X-Plane 11. Um, so, you know, X-Plane 11 does look good in some circumstances. That's These are all X-Plane 11 shots, I think. So uh, they can look really good. Right, let's see if I can get this thing working. Right, let's see if, I, the, see if the resume last flight 
feature actually works. It often doesn't, but if it does, we'll be in for a nice treat. You can see my computer's going wrong as the same image keeps loading up on that, so it uh, it is going wrong slightly. <laughs> That one you're watching there, that's uh, taking off from Ivalo in northern Finland. Really crazy, crazy takeoff. Right, hold on, I've got a plan here. Push back failure. Aircraft appears to oh, not have any steerable uh, gears. That's not ideal. Right, tell you what. Do we want to let us let us know in the chat, give me some feedback. Um Daniel's gonna keep flying, I assume. Um so Right, let's have a think. If we. Hmm. <laughs> right, well, how about for a bit of fun, we load into Helsinki and we, uh, we're we going to trip up to Ivalo. Then, when we get to Ivalo, we can uh, have a look at where we'd like to fly from, uh, from, from there. A uh, bit of a crazy flight could be quite good fun. That might work. Let's see if the snow features are working in X-Plane 12 then. As I can tell you, uh, Ivalo is very, very snowy currently. I've got some friends up there. And it, it, uh, it's, they've got about uh, five, six feet of snow. So if it's not showing lots of snow on here, I'll be, I'll be disappointed. Right, this is just loading up x 12 and then we'll be, uh, we'll, we'll be back in. Okay, well, that is, um, the fateful slow since crash on uh, all the best hours right on final text for touchdown that's exactly it that is exactly what happens to all flight sims at some point all right i'm gonna make a new flight and we're going to shoot up north um to evalo so that is we'll just be bimbling along at low altitude but that's quite good fun Get rid of that one. Right, Woucher, welcome to uh, Helsinki. That's live time. Let's just slide that back to a time when it looks a bit more approachable. There we go. Right, this is X-Plane 11 scenery, hence the uh, lack of gate connection. It hasn't got any snow, which is a bit disappointing because there is snow. But let's uh, let's let's get that sorted out. Tell you what, let's get some uh, let's get some let's get some snow on. Like, I mean, come on, we we know it's snow. Right, let's have a look. Snow. Maximum apply changes. All right, there we go. There we go. Wow, that's quite bad actually. I can't actually tell where certain things are. <laughs> that's brilliant. Where's uh? Is there like another airport I can go see and work out if the snow's that bad there? Because it is snowy, but that's really snowy. I mean, God, 
<laughs> Let's change that slightly. So uh, there we go. Right. Medium. Should we, should we have a look? This is, this is this is more of a now playing with X Plane 12. What can we get it to do? Oh, well, how about that's quite cool. We can see some taxiways. Not very clearly. Let's go with that. That looks quite good fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, would we like to do? We've got a bit of an opportunity here. Daniel's making his way up here. I think he's he's right. We're going to mess around Helsinki, and then we'll join him. So let's do some touch and goes around Helsinki, um, a, a while until he gets here. And then when he gets here, we will, as he says, crack on up north. I think that is a very very good idea. That is what we'll do. So, let's, uh, you can all judge me as I dare my s my uh, my flying skills. So, uh, right, go away. Oop. Right. Let's come around. Oh, and I've got to reload the aircraft there. It looks like it's uh, got a slight problem. Some of the screens aren't good. No. Has that fixed them? I think so. Right, let's try this. Yes, right, let's get some computers on. Drain masters. Nav lights. Let's do some touch and goes. This could be quite good fun. You've uh, not seen me doing normal flying, and we'll have the yoke cam on almost the whole time for this one. And we'll do s we'll do lots of uh, lots of practice practice landings to get our skills really really nailed. Although the snow might mean it quite difficult. Let's let's just turn the snow just just a, yeah, just a tad down. It's very difficult to tell <laughs> where the runway is. So I'm just going to turn that down slightly. That's slightly better. I get a bit of an idea now. It's a bit bit easier on me. Right. Uh, do that. There we go. Okay, so starting up the plane then. Everything's up and running. We need to get the INS into a line. INS are now a laning. We don't really need to pro uh, we don't need to program anything particularly at the moment. I'm gonna connect back up. Uh should be a Concorde two seventy two I'm gonna go. And I'm just gonna get a flight plan filed. I'm just getting um getting some stuff going guys. Zero zero thirty. Right, there we go. Okay. That's up and crack in there. Right, then nobody seems to be here at Helsinki. I can't see any aircraft. So we'll have a bit of fun doing our own thing. Let's get some meat, our checks and everything. Sort ourselves out. Apologies, everybody. I know if you want to switch over to Channel 4, I fully understand. It's uh, <laughs> it's, it's uh, very disappointing. Uh, but you know what? Let's crack on. We'll have a bit of fun. Do some touch and goes around the airfield. Uh, and get ourselves sorted. So on the overhead, I'll turn on all the master CBs whilst we wait for the INS to align. Very master heaters are all on. We will need everything on in terms of heating. Very, very cold here. Um, right, so let's now do some flight prep. Uh, flight preparation, fuel manager, or payload manager. Fuel minimum. And then fuel manager, 31 tons, that's good, fuel minimum. Passengers with incredibly light. That is how we're going to be flying, we're doing some touch and goes. We're very, very, very light. We will not be requiring... Oh, it's got still very high uh, V1 speeds. Although I imagine our acceleration to them will be quite quick. So we'll take off with afterburners because it's quite good fun. Uh, right, let's get these fuel heaters online. Good. That's that bit done. So now that's up and running. Whilst we're waiting for these INS to align, we'll get our pushback pr prepared. 
onto the snowy runway. I mean, I have to say, in terms of textures, this is very impressive. This is X-Plane 11 scenery, which I'm running in X-Plane 12. I didn't realize it could, but it can. <laughs> so I thought it would be a bit of fun to just load it in. Not bad. There are bits and bobs here and there, but I think that is pretty good on the whole. That looks pretty nice. We'll get the ILS frequency up then for some of the Helsinki's runways. Oh, Abby Tab don't want to work. Okay, I'll get it up on there. Uh, get up on one of these guys. Bear with me. Right, end load. Flight EFHK. Taxi charts. Get some taxi. Taxi stuff up. There we go. Nobody covering us uh, on ATC wise. Let's get that yoke come up so you guys can see uh, the yoke we're using and everything for the flights. Tell you what, I need to get the lights on. Bear with me. One sec, guys. Back in a minute. Cool. There we go. That's a bit better. Right, airport-wise, just get the METAR up and running. Let's have a look-see. Might come join me in Helsinki. Okay. Go for it. Come join us. We're going to do a circuit. A couple of touch-and-goes. Land, do a quick refuel, and then shoot off. Right, Helsinki METAR. I'm just bringing it up here. Tell my internet is being very, very slow. Crikey, it's like a snail. Right. There we go. One zero one six on the QNH. Okay. But we'll do a QFE for our circuits. Up there. Temperature is two degrees. Two four zero at eleven. So it's going to be runway two twos for departure and arrival. Uh, explain, explain crashed, unfortunately for us. Um, yeah, you're right there, what do you say? I don't know, it's difficult, but, uh, yeah, explain, explain crashed. It's, uh, not Collie Martyr's fault at all. Uh, it's a heavy aircraft for sure on frames, but, uh, no, explain, uh, explain, explain crashed. Ground to cockpit, tow is driving up. Oh, the snow's gone as well. That's a bit of annoying. I wonder where the snow's gone. Got rid of my snow. <laughs> oh yay. That's a bit odd. Uh, right. Airport temperature. That's not quite true. There we go. Apply changes. No, don't want to work either. Right, I want. Okay. So this is again we're sort of exploring uh yeah, yeah don't worry, we'll wait for you to do some circuits, but uh we're just having a little explore here. Right. Airport temperature is three degrees. Precipitation. We'll leave it as it is. In theory, it should be downloading off from the real weather. It's in theory, in reality, it's snowy, but it doesn't seem to want to make it snow. I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, certainly an interesting game when it comes to comes to getting stuff like that working. Like, who knows why it's not not snowing? But uh, we'll have to see. Right, so. INS are finishing up their alignment process. We've got all our stuff ready to go for departure. Let's get some engines fired up. Let's get ready to crack. So if we can get our cross bleeds all on. And our engine bleeds on. Oh. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Set parking brake. Set parking brake, right, it's parking brake set. We need to connect the GPU for start. GPU. Oh, don't want to connect. Why don't want to connect? Okay, doesn't want to, uh, don't want to connect the GPU. Now that is Cody Marta. <laughs> Not really sure what's going on there. The tug is connecting, I suppose. 
that's quite. I'd be quite annoyed if that's the reason it won't uh, won't turn on, as that's not related to the aircraft. All right, if it lowers us back down, we'll uh, see if we can get that working again. Right. Well, in the same time, open up the fuel valves to ma automatic. Disconnect good hand signals. Other INS is still aligning, and these engines won't start, of course, until we get uh, the GPU. Aircraft also ground. There we go. There's the GPU. Right, and it will fire up the inside too. Is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Right, we'll and fire up two of them. Right, well, we'll do some circuits teaching our pilots how to fly this aircraft. Ah, we got the Concorde off to our left there. I tell you what, if he's loaded in, should we just fly up to a uh, fly up to somewhere fun? I haven't been to Ivalo. Would you like to go up there or do you want to go to um, Ravemni? What might be good more fun? If we go to Iv Ivalo, it's quite a long way up north. It's quite a good fun flight right up into the very Arctic Circle of the Arctic Circle. Um, if you're here, we might as well fly up there, I suppose. Yeah? Alright, well, let's get cracking. We'll head up there, then. And we'll make that our flight for today. I do apologise, as I said before, ladies and gentlemen. Um... X-Plane 11 has just completely let, let, let us go today and, uh, and given up on us, which is a real shame. Right, let's get some stuff. We can... Do you want to get an IFR flight plan going or should we uh, just uh, sort of shoot up there? What do we want to do? I might do some circuits, I think. I think I'm going to do some circuits. I don't think I'll use a pushback. I'll just get these engines running. Let's just get cracking, I think. Sorry, I'm not, sorry, I'm not talking through it. Um, I'm just turning on all the systems, opening up all the bits and bobs of the aircraft, getting it all started in a rapid sort of procedure. Fast some circuits. Well, yeah, let's just do some circuits. I think let's just do some circuits. It's quite good fun. I'm going to get a pushback truck. Ground a cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. We need to be departing from runway 22 left. We've got a bit of a taxi out to 22 left. Circuits first then. Yeah, that should be good fun. We'll just do a couple of Runs around and get some practice in, you know. Perfect our perfect our landing technique. So, right. Circuits first, and yeah, let's do circuits. So, all four engines are running. I start them up a little bit eagerly. So what I'll do is I'll lower the visor and hold it there. Engine control so can go to fly over at this point. I'm happy to put it down. Uh, boost conditioning valves and cross speed shut. So, circuitos. Right, let's just check out my chart, see what we've got going here. We're going to be doing circuits uh, around runway 2 to right. Um, as that uh, keeps us out the way of traffic. It's 110 7. It's the ILS frequency. And it's 218 for the heading. I don't plan on using it particularly much, but it's uh, it's there if we need it. Uh, and now departure, so we'll get the heading heading bugs up. I'll do a nice perpendicular side to that. There we go. Right, he's got us. Let's release the parking brake. Oh. Bypass 
starting pushback. That was a speedy start up in Concord. Let's do some little bits of circuits. Right hand or left hand? I was going to do a right hand circuit round 2-2, two, 2-2 two, two, two right. 2-2 um, right, right hand circuit, keeping us right out away from the field for our little circuits. And I'm looking to do them at about, let's have a look, see here, 2,000 feet or so. So fairly high circuits, but we're sort of IFR aircraft doing this, so that makes sense really. About 2,000 feet. Super. Right, we're pushing back. Quite a wide pushback there. There we go. Right, all four engines, as I said, are running. So before taxi checks, we do. There we go, the INS have aligned. Oof, that was close, just before we started moving, I reckon. So warning's all gone. Anti-collision lights are on. Turn on auto-ignition and auto-throttle. Yep, yeah, cool. Do a bit, we'll do a bit, we'll do it. Have a bit of fun. Um, yeah, have a bit of chat. So I don't know about you guys, any of you off on holiday, you know, it's half term, skiing season. I mean, I'm off tomorrow, so um, this is the sort of last. I'm going Q QFE, t t 2000 QFE um, should should give us a bit, should give us a, a nice work. I'm going to set the QFE when we hit the runway threshold again, just to make sure it's fully accurate. Our V1 speeds are 160, 181. 201. So we are going to be using afterburners as that's quite high. There we go, we're pushing back. A fair cool on Unicom actually, there's someone taxiing around. Right. Unicom, speed of the Concord. Correction. Oops, wrong frequency. <laughs> Unicom, Speedbird Concorde uh, 272 is pushed back from the stands. Uh, we're going to be doing circuits around runway 22 right, taxiing out. Holding point 22, sorry, t circuits around 22 left. Uh, no, correction, 22 right, uh, we'll be taxiing out to holding point 22 left. Uh, Helsinki traffic, uh, Speedbird Concorde 272. Operation complete. Yeah, parking, brake. parking brake. There we go. Right, free camera. If we shoot out, who we got over here? There's this A321. This is the guy I was talking about. I haven't seen him. It's a nice plane. Personally, I think the Finn Air 321. Lovely looking bird. Interesting, it hasn't got it quite configured how I think they have it in real life. And Finn Air have opted for the Sharklets and IAE engines. But that is still a very nice plane. Lovely. Disconnect. Clear off. Right. Back here, brake fans can go on. We can set the de-air pumps on. The pumps are auto. There and there. 5A and 7A got warnings, so that's because they're empty, but that's fine. We haven't got much fuel on board. Tow is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the right. We'll see you next time and have a great flight. He's disconnecting. Let's drop our nose and get out of taxiing. There he goes. Let's get a cracking. Bit of power. Let's get rolling. So, this time, hopefully it won't crash, and uh, we'll have a bit of fun doing a little bit of circuits. Should be good. Quite a punchy taxi here. Lovely. Flight controls then. Full right. Full left. Full up and fall down. I'm using the Boeing TCA yoke here. This is a uh, Thrustmaster. Very, very good product in my opinion. For flying aircraft like Concorde and yoke aircraft, similar. Really, really good yoke. I find works really, really well. There we go. Make a left turn here. Hard left through 90 degrees. Take a moment so we can go on on our taxi out. And we'll continue out. If I stick on the taxi line, that might help. <laughs> right, to go right here. And to the low temperatures, we make sure we'll turn on our anti-ice uh, protection systems as well. We 
go uh, through camera. Oh, I've overshot the turn a little bit there. See the plane taxiing away. Quite a punch taxi, whoever this trainee pilot is, he's uh, sh shooting along. Get taxi lights on. We'll get engine anti ice on. We'll get the anti ice on to continuous. I don't know how to do that. Um, visor de ice on. Windshield de ice on low. That's the de ice. That's the we don't need them. And we'll go right here. Let them know we're crossing two to left. Helsinki traffic, uh, Spiva Concord 273 crossing runway 22 left. Correction, Spiva Concord 272. Shoot cross 22 left and head out 22 right. Bit of power there. <laughs> Lovely. Shooting across. Lovely. Yeah, we can, everything's feeling lovely today. It's very, very good. I do recommend it highly. And the scenery. It's quite impressive. X-Plane 11 scenery can, that I've uh, sort of just dragged across without any changes straight away into X-Plane 12. And it's working very well. We hop back into the passenger cabin. See all the information there. Seems all fine. See the other Concords push back. We're zipping out the uh, stuff. I want to get. I want to do some flying. You know, do some proper manual flight here. That'll be fun. Well, it'll be all visual. Is my plan. Um, so this should be good fun. Right. Lights will set for takeoff. Everything's all good in the back seats. Ah, that's it. Flight engineer needs to trim for takeoff, or in this case, landing. And take off. Pretty much the same place. You can see the CG doesn't really move. But uh, if you trim for landing, you get the landing speeds. If you trim for takeoff, you get the takeoff speeds. So we'll trim for takeoff and then we'll do trim for landing during flight. In the back, then, uh, when the flyover is all good, the auto is set, and uh, that'll be all good. Quick blast off, and then we'll be good. Do reheat, do a no reheat takeoff. Ah, okay. I'm going to blast off with reheat. <laughs> Helsinki traffic, uh, Speedbird Concorde 272 lining up for runway 22 right. Helsinki traffic, Speedbird Concorde 11 Foxtrot taxiing runway 22 right. Helsinki. Arm our burners as we line up. I would say uh, sorry, Dan, for my sim crashing. I uh, haven't been able to use your route. We'll definitely be doing the, this uh, that flight again uh, at some point. It's quite good fun. It's a real shame that. Uh, to didn't want to work. And Helsinki traffic, uh, Spearbird Concorde 272, departing runway 22 right for right hand visual circuit, runway 22 right, uh, Helsinki. Okay. Here we go. So, landing up on the runway, it's going to be full afterburners. Let's see. Let's see how good my flying skills really are, eh? Uh, tell everyone I know what I'm doing, do I? Let's have a look at QFE is all good. Set up. Start the clock. Throttle up. Here we go. Throttle cutting in. Engine number four is not quite up. There we go. Engine number four is up. Lovely. So, V1. Rotate. This is going to be a really speedy takeoff, especially as this light. There's like a couple of training pilots on board, that's about it. And also throttle, throttling back. So not also throttle, throttle off. Hold the climb, hold the climb. 250 knots selected. And we're climbing. Do an outside shot. Oh, gear, forgot about them. 
<laughs> it's these. We're going to get it. It's windy today. It's the plane's bumping around. Right, there we go. So. Whoa. Nose is really moving. Right hand turns. Here we go. Right hand turn. Let's slow the aircraft down again to 230. Let's get the flight engineer to trim us for landing. We will trip to landing. Whee. Oop, there goes the nose. Right, continuing our climb. And in a big right hand turn. <laughs> Concorde very rarely gets flown in a circuit. It was normally only around Shannon. And uh, so it's quite good fun to have to be flying around a, uh, an airport like this. Alright, we'll level our no wings there just to make some distance between ourselves and the airport. We'll keep our climb up. Starting to reduce our climb. We want to level out about here. There we go. Whee. There we go. That's uh, aircraft trimmed nicely there. So you can see I can let go of the stick. Not doing anything. Or the yoke rather. And it's holding still. So it's trimmed nicely. So the any movement you know is my fault. And that's 230 knots. Let's make the next right hand turn in the circuit. Speedbird Concord 272 turning downwind, runway 22 right, Helsinki. Then the turn, I've got to pitch up a bit to make the turns. There we go, whoop, there we go. Don't want to turn much tighter than that. Lovely, we're going around the corner. Whee. Nice X Plane 12, subsonic flight. Yeah, KC, okay, we had a, a the sim crashed, unfortunately. Um, it's uh, just uh, after takeoff from Heathrow, so we're doing some, uh, we're doing some circuits around Helsinki. Uh, for a bit of fun before making our way, I should presumably up to Revenue uh, in a minute. But we're, we're doing some visual circuits so I can get in practice of flying a bit. <laughs> so I've lost some altitude there around the circuit there. We've dropped down to 1,500. I don't want to go below 1,400 really. There's the company aircraft. And Speedbird Conquer 272 visual with the company. We'll let them know we got visual. We got no, we got the reheat off. So in the case of a, when we go around, we'll just be doing a dry power go around uh, without the reheat. The reheat's just for a bit of fun on our initial takeoff. Is that an aircraft? No. Okay, right. We're holding nice and level. We're in it, holding about six, one sixteen hundred. Touch and goes. That's the plan. Yeah. Right. We're four and a half miles away from the airport. Continuing our track this head this direction. Avi tab don't want to work, so we'll have to use this instead. So, there's the airport back there. So you can see we're we're tracking away nicely here. We have got the ILS up, so that's good, giving us a bit of readings and everything. If we zoom out, you can see there's the airport back there. He's just departing, so we'll start to make our turn. That will be quite a late lineup. Five nautical miles. Just check my charts here. Yeah, we want to be 5.7 nautical miles at 2,000 feet, so we can start to make a turn here. So we're Concorde 272, turning finals from a 2-2 right, Helsinki. Right, there we go, rolling in. This is a, this is an exciting kind of flying. We don't normally do this on this channel. We normally do boring IFR, so it's quite good fun. Right. Settings for landing. We'll set 2-2-0 two, two knots. Want to hold altitude here. We don't want to drop quite so much. There we go. There we go. Bit of pitch up. Right. Can't see the runway, so I have to go nose you and drop it down, see if I can just get a visual. Oh, the sun in the way. Alright, we'll have to use our headings. 1500, we're a little bit low. Whoa. We're dropping, we're dropping. Pitch up, pitch up. There we go. Do a quick 90 degree track like we did last time. Sort ourselves out. I'm checking on the map where we are. Okay, that's good. We can start to make a bit of a right hand turn. Nice and gently bringing us across. The sunlight's really making it difficult. Okay, so. Coming across. Keep that turn up. I'll increase the rate of turn slightly. And there comes in the ILS. So it's runway's pretty much right ahead of us now. We've just shot across the ILS there, so we'll keep our turn going. Helsinki traffic, Spiva Concord 272. Uh, five mile final to land, touch and go, 2 2 right. Put the gear down. down. And then to correct ourselves, we'll point across a little bit to here. Hold the heading. There's sun glares. That's very. Oh, there's the. Oh no, that's another one. Where's that one? 
There it is. Visual with the runway. We got visual. Okay, good. Gear down. Four greens. Lovely. We'll slow up to 200 knots. I think we're a little bit heavy for landing. Oh no, we're good. Right, the other guy, Daniels. Oh, there he is. You see him <laughs> tracking along as well. <laughs> God, there's a lot of us right outside view. You can see the lovely gears all down. Not my best, not my best circuit, but we'll, we'll get better. Right, slowing to 190 knots. Ground effect's quite strong in Concord, so we can afford to slow. Right. You can see us uh, moving around a bit there, right. Up nice and directly onto the runway, 400 feet coming down. Just over 1,000 feet per minute there, because we're a little bit high on the pappies. So I'll make sure we come down nicely. We Pitch it up slightly. Cool, good God. Ugh. I didn't see thoughts what were coming off there. Bit less throttle, bit less throttle. There we go, idle throttle. Ooh, bit of float. Watch from outside view, watch the touchdown. Waiting for the touchdown there. A little bit late, you can see the tyre effect's quite nice in X-Plane. There we go, throttling up. Going around. <laughs> throttling up to full. We'll touch down a little bit late there, this is going to be a bit close. Right, here we go. And we're up again. Positive climb, right, gear up and we'll throttle back. Throttling back, throttling back, throttling back. We're looking for 230 knots going round. There we go, we're up ladies and gentlemen. You're off in Finland if I remember correctly. That is correct. Speedway <laughs> Concorde 272 uh, turning downwind uh, 22 right. You are correct. We, we, we are, are sometimes in Helsinki. I, I don't know what you're referring to there. <laughs> no, of course, that stream. God, that dreaded stream. <laughs> A bit of trim up. Keep our climb up here as we go around the corner. We've got full nose down, so we'll be bringing that up as uh, in as, as I hop back in. Bring that up into the five degree position. There we go. We'll level our wings there to give Daniel time. We don't want to be bumping into him. Right, where is that? Is he? I speak Finnish. I do not know. <laughs> I uh, spend a lot of time. In Finland, I quite like it. I went there on holiday a while ago, and I decided I like the airports. I bought some good scenery for Helsinki, and you know what? It's just, it's quite good fun. I think it's got some nice snow effects often, although don't seem to be having any today. <laughs> often nice snow and everything, and it's uh, it's quite good fun. Right, swinging it in. Right, he's on to finals. Lovely. Oh, we're just straying over 2,000 feet there. We'll let it descend slightly. A little bit of descent. There, whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. And we'll start to roll level there. And then we'll stop our descent there. Wait, yep, there we go. And level our wings. There we go. This is a full manual circuit, so I'm just using trim there to get the aircraft so steady. And the rest of it's done fully manually. We need to get visual with Daniel landing. Let's get the radar on. There he is. Well, there's quite a lot of aircraft. Oh, God. Right, he's off to our right. Must be on a short final. There he is. Yep, short final. Indeed, there he goes. I better pay attention to my own flying here. It's straying quite low. Right, we're 3.8 miles and increasing. We're heading away from the airport now. There's quite a few aircraft um, flying around Helsinki. You can see our routing on above there. We've, uh, we're a little bit closer in than we would normally be. So where we were last time, so that's alright. Quite a challenging landing. It sounds challenging, I'll be honest, yeah. Right, 4.5 miles, let's swing it in. A little bit earlier than before, that's alright. 
Okay, right hand turn. There we go. Keep the nose down. We don't want to climb too much. Wee yep. Wee. There we go. Check on our that little map. You can get an idea for what we're doing. Going round and round. Might do a runway change in a minute. See if that's a bit fun. Wee. Oh, that's a big descent there. Pitch it up, pitch it up. There we go. This is almost going to be a continuous turn, this one, because I cut a little bit tighter. Helsinki traffic's prepared, Concord 272, turning finals from way 22 right. If you're just joining us, we're doing circuits at Helsinki for a bit of fun. We're all a bit out of practice flying. We do so many IFR flights, so it's worth doing some practice to get yourselves back in some shape. So that's what we're up to. Right, slow, 190 knots. So we're coming onto the ILS there. There comes over the ILS, visual with the runway there, just about through the sun. Gear selected down. We're a little bit low. Nose can be selected full. And we'll pitch up to arrest the descent. And there we are, coming in for our second attempt. Let's see if we can. We made a nice touchdown last time, but uh, let's see if we can get it down a little bit earlier. We floated quite a long way. Very easy to float in Concord, I've got to really watch that. Arrest our descent rate there because we're, we're low. We're coming in low over these trees. But we're holding it. A lot of sky in the canopy there, so quite a tough tough view of the runway. Coming down through 400 feet. We're over the runway, or we're over the air, airport's boundary. How's the traffic for now? Two, two, sorry, <laughs> Speedbird 272 touching down, 2 2 right. Touch and go. Oh, bit of wind there, we correct left. Correcting left and then allowing the descent rate to increase again as back can we come down for our touchdown. Water throttle disengages, I right, take manual. Watching the speedo, holding 190. Sights come over the runway threshold, letting the descent rate and throttle back. I'm talking you through like I know what I'm doing, this is just practice, so we'll have to see. Idling throttle. Keeping the nose coming down, nose coming down. And there we are, we're down. Lowering the nose. Selecting full throttle. There we go. Gunning it back around. Positive rate. Gear up. How's the traffic? Uh, Speed 272, turning downwind. Uh, 2 2 right. Selecting the nose up again and climb. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Select 230 knots. Reduce our throttle a tad. Not bad, eh? Not bad. I want a bad touchdown. So there you go, that guy's established 2-2 two two left. This is why I think we're good sticking on 2-2 two two right. Because uh, lots of people are messing around 2-2 two two left. and they, That's where the ILS has come in. So I think if we stick on our 2-2 two two right, we could just keep messing around. And we'll be all right. Right, I, mean, I, th I think we should do one more, and then we'll do a full stop landing. Uh, so one more touch and go, then a full stop, and then we'll make our way up to Evelo. Or, or Ravemni, whichever one we want to go to. We've been to Evelo before, why don't we head up to Ravemni? Right, level the nose there. Leveled out at 2,000 feet. You can see on our map, we're flying nicely in a route. Very good. Just there, getting the nose just to hold nicely along. See, there's a bit of wind there that's changing quite a lot. So we're drifting a little bit high. And I'll make a right hand turn here. We're going to be a slightly wider circuit this time. I let the speed build up a little bit there. Bring it back down. I think we'll try and do if we can. We'll try and do it full, full, or full, full uh, manual. So no throttle all the way around this circuit. A bit of practice managing the throttle too. Concord quite difficult to do so. Way, 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 way. Speed's dropping there. Okay, m maybe we'll have a bit of help from the other throttle. <laughs> right, bit of throttle there. Get the speed up to two thirty or so. Right, 
we're going to slot ourselves in behind the guy on the ILS. And uh, Helsinki traffic, uh, thin air, two, sorry, correction, speed 272 is uh, on the downwind runway 22 right. Oh, there he is. He's literally on the threshold. There goes Daniel. He's hitting the ground already. He's coming in just underneath the engines there. There we go. He's down. He's done his touch and go. We're continuing ours on our downwind. Ooh. So yeah, we'll do this touch and go, then we'll do a, another circuit and make it a full stop landing. Get a refuel, get some new passengers on board, and uh, make our way across. And hell, thank you, traffic, Finn, uh, speedbird 272, uh, turning finals from a 22 right. We've got to be careful with the guy ahead of us, of course. Um, He's uh, he's touching down to left, which is all right. Uh, but uh, we want to be careful; we don't get too close to him, especially in Concord. We don't want to cause any problems. Can't quite see him out of the sun, so uh, we'll be keeping an eye on him on radar. He's off to our right, so that's all right. There comes the ILS, so we'll start to make a right and turn. You forgot to put the gear down. Oh God, no! It's plain all right. <laughs> so is that grimacing thing you get too low. You're like, hmm. Are you laughing again? Oh no. <laughs> well, tell you what, you laid into the stand. Um, tell you what, we'll make this a we'll make this a full stop landing for ourselves here. And uh, speed of Concorde two seventy two, we're f making a full stop landing from a two two right Helsinki traffic. Let's slow down two hundred knots and arrest that descent there. And there we go. We're in line with the runway. No, it's fully down. I'll select gear down. Wait, there goes the pitch that I didn't quite anticipate there. There we go. Uh, slightly to the uh, left of the runway there. I've just picked up visual with it. Hells like traffic, speed by Concord 272, finals to land runway 22 right, 3 nautical miles. Okay, so, a bit of pitch up. Make sure we're doing 200 knots. Keep it a little bit faster if we're doing a full stop landing, that's fine. Right, selecting 190. Bit a bit high there. Nope. Getting a bit of lag. Whee. There we go. Right. Nose pitching down. Okay, here we go. Gear is down. <laughs> and I'll take manual throttle. Reduce the throttle. Reduce the throttle. Increasing the throttle slightly there, letting it drop a bit. 188 knots coming in over the threshold. Here we go. Here we go. Starting to reduce the throttle. Get the nose. Yeah, bit of float, bit of float. There, hey, look at that for some butter. If only I could do that in X-Plane 11 where there's a, an FPM rater. There we go, nose down. The reverse thruster has been selected. Oh, well, I have to go. Do I have to throttle up? I can never remember what I have to do. Do I throttle up? Yeah, I throttle up. Okay, that makes sense. That made more sense then. Okay. And Helsinki traffic, uh, Speedbird Concorde 272, vacating left, Helsinki, taxi to stand. Lovely. Getting used to this toggle on the, uh, the, the throttles. Don't normally come down this end of the 2 2 right, so it's uh, certainly interesting. Now we'll get this vacate off on the yellow bit there. Clear off here because he's trying to depart. I think. 
Oh my god, he is defying. Ah. Oh well, he's only a 737. He's already airborne, look. <laughs> Superb, he's getting right at the top of us. Brilliant. There he goes. Up and over. Ooh, lovely. Right, we've got this uh, crossing then and we'll make our way back. I'll tell you what, we could just go to the icing stand to cool that refueling place. No, I think we'll go, I think we'll do that. Our passengers have all been bussed out, I'm sure. I'll tell you what, it's not that far of a taxi. We'll shoot back. Who's this? What's this? What's this? Welcome back. <laughs> Message from Dan. Thanks. Made it down. Some of those were not some. Some of those were pretty good landings. Some of them, uh, maybe forget. <laughs> right after landing, their nose can come up. Take our motors off. We'll yeah, de-arm the afterburners. I'm doing quite a quick taxi here. There's a. There's no real problem with doing so for our purposes today. It's all good. Shooting back. And we'll go across here. So breaking, 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 breaking. Who's that? Ah, a Finnair A330, I believe, over there. Looking lovely. Make a right hand turn here. The FRO, yeah, why don't we head up there and do some stuff there? Right, bit of power. I'm going to turn off the camera then as we're on stand. There's nothing really interesting going on. Let's make our way back. This is a bit crazy taxiing. Don't don't ever do this taxiing. Helsinki traffic, Finnair, oh sorry, correction, speedbird 272 crossing runway 22 left, 04 right. Now that is definitely an, uh, an Airbus A330. Which is lovely to see. You don't normally see many of them around here now. Oop. <laughs> ah, I'm going off the side. There you go. Right, quickly shooting across. And we'll head up to EFRO, which is uh, Revemni, of course. We'll swing it across onto the taxiway. And then we'll go park up next to him. Quite a quick taxi, you can tell, 54 knots, I'm, I'm shifting. I'm uh, keen to get us in. Oh, God, that's a bit excessive. Bloody hell. <laughs> right, slow down a little bit. We don't want to go too quick. Do want to get cracking, though. It's a long taxi, especially on these uh, these wide aprons. We'll go in here and go straight in to that stand there. Right, lights off as we turn in. Out of courtesy for the people on the stand. We'll shoot our way in. So, coming in to stand then. Nose certainly up. And the visor up as we pull on. I'm thinking I'm going to I'm gonna leave the visor down. Um, but have the nose up. Bring it to a stop there. Lovely. Reading you 5 by 5 SPB Concord 272. Right, back into the engineer's desk.
Generator's off. Open the electrical SSB. Turn off the generator and heat fans. Turn off the main fuel pumps. And the DAS can go off too. Lovely brake fans can go off as well. Engine control to normal. Uh, oh yeah, boost conditioning valves up here. Go off. Uh, and we shut down those high pressure barrels. Like so. Nay bad. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Helsinki. Uh, <laughs> we've uh, done a little bit of circuit training there. To sort out some of our, la our landing techniques. Um, so yeah. If you'd like to join me, I'm going to be flying. I think I'm going to call the stream there, um, just because it's uh, a little bit easier if I'm on Discord. I can hop in and out and things. Um, I will be uh, over in Discord, so do come and join me, literally in the Pillow Pilot Discord. Uh, yeah, and then we'll be heading off to EFRO. We'll be flying up to Rovemnu on the Pillow Pilot Discord server because it's a little bit nicer. I think uh, you, can see it's, you can have more of a chat and you can speak to me. Directly, this is quite good fun. So, um, do if you if you you know if you're up for that, it, you don't have to. You can just come and listen, and then talk in the general chat through the Discord or the voice chat um, text channel. Absolutely fine. So, you know, do whatever. So, please do come and join us over in the Discord server. Um, that has been a bit of a crazy stream, but quite good fun at the same. Exactly nine waypoints, superb. So yeah, I'm going to end the stream there and be over in the Discord channel in the voice server. So do come hop into the voice server in the Discord channel. Um, I'm going to put that in text channel as well. So thank you very much. Boo, Stephen wrote, oh, would you like us to stay on? Uh, okay. Would you like us to stay streaming instead? Romeo, you, you've got Discord. You can come join us in there. Or, we, or do we like to stream? I might as well stream it, I suppose, mightn't we? All right, fine. You've persuaded me. Right. Um, yeah, all right, fine. Right, so nine waypoints for this leg. Would you mind sending me... Have you got Have you got the flight plan, Dan? Would you mind sending that over to me? Is it, uh, is it in Discord? Let's grab that one up. Mm-hmm. That one. Brilliant. I've got it. There, I've got it. Right. Planned route. Found it. Right. Let's get it open up and uh, let's get some information about it. General chat. Thank you. So it's all our nav around here at Helsinki. So we'll have to do our own departures routing um, to get there. Let's just check what kind of fuel we're using. 37 tons, okay. Thirty-seven tons understood. Let's get these passengers on board. Everybody wants to go on a nice trip up north to Winter Wonderland. Right, so have a look at so fuel on board, 37 tonnes. We're currently too heavy to land, that's fine. That looks good to me. Right. Weights are done. So, waiting is done. Let's get these waypoints programmed. Right. Lido. Wow. Well, right, I'm going to have to file over the previous one. Stand by. We're getting there, we're getting there. I've just seen the link actually. The E175s are now free by X Crafts. Which is pretty amazing. They've made these very, very good aircraft free. 
for XP11. So I'll be downloading that actually. We'll get that. Making their old ones free and their new ones still very much pay. But I don't mind. I love the old ones. Right, so. Nine waypoints for the shuttle bus up north. So, we s initially got Lucep, so. Lucep North six zero five seven five seven decimal one Eastings zero two one five oh that's not that's gone wrong. What have I got wrong? Zero two five one five I missed that right. North it did the whole thing again. North six zero five seven decimal one Eastings zero Two five one five nine. There we go. Eight point two. Ibozo. North six one three seven two. Eastings zero two five one seven. Decimal seven. Eight point three. Six two zero four six. East zero two five one seven seven uh, we put four so which one that was that was Bozo at ten north six two zero four six Eastings zero two five one nine Ah, oh, I've got that slightly wrong. You're ready when I am. Okay, yeah. Um, I've got to sort this out now. I do. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, that's a lot of lag. Where are you? Come on. There we go. Right, I've somehow messed up f doing the flight plan there. I'll have to sort that one out myself. Right, I'll so. Right. Waypoint one. 60517 Well, that's loose up. Waypoint two. 61372. 25177. Good. Waypoint three should be north 62046. Two five one nine. Right, that's wrong. Six two zero four six east zero two five one nine zero. Insert. Eslov six two four eight three. Go on, you get pushed back, Daniel. I'll be out in a minute. Uh, zero two five two one one. Eight point five. Wait, hold on. I forgot which one's that one. That's two five one one. That's Eslov, right? Dosep or Dodep is six three four three four. Six is Minku six. Four two six seven. Ah. Six four two six seven. East zero two five two six. Two. Go. Right. That was Mimku. Now we're doing Oop Depu. That is six five one seven nine. East. 
zero two five two nine one insert then we've got ren v north six six zero four four six easting zero two five three one nine kill so that one done waypoint nine north six six two eight one east zero two five two eight two Right, there we go. Finally got there. <laughs> yeah, right, that's them done. Let's get our push back. We'll make our way back out to 2-2 uh, two, two left. You're right, we were at Helsinki the other day. I just think it's a really good airport. But, uh, it's good fun. Right, let's get this guy over. Let's get our GPU connected. Let's get this this tug to drive up. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. Let's get these crossbleeds open and these fuels on. Crossbleeds will open. Let's fire up the engines. What have I missed? Cross, please. Ah, that one. There we go. Well, we're cruising at flight level 280. Dial that one up. 280. We're doing 250 knots. Initially, will be a course of... James Aviation, hello! It'll be initially we'll be turning right, heading 230 okay. before we make our way up to that waypoint north. So it'll be right 230 we'll slowly do a big heading track turn around towards it. Right, so he's connecting. We'll relight number three. Get him that up and running, right. Turn on the uh, hydraulics and electrics for those guys. There we go. Jones, you missed us doing some crazy circuits around uh, Helsinki. <laughs> That's quite funny. Oh, there goes someone. Who's that? Oh, he's really doing a tight turn. Oh, no. Oh, he's going for a turn. Oh, what have I missed? Sweet camera. Connected and bypass pin inserted. Release. Guy, he's made, he's made a tight turn. Oh, no. He's off. Right, release pipe and brake. There we go. Just go back from Cadet Event Army. Oh, yeah, well. Thanks very much, Jones. See you in a bit. Hope you had fun. Right. We're moving. We're moving. Dan's moved too. We're all good. We're finally all moving once again. <laughs> right. Climate takeoff ratings. Auto throttles need to be off, actually. To burn a bit of fuel, we'll do a jet takeoff with the with the reheats. We'll be nose to nose with the other Concorde. Lovely. Open the window actually. There we go, engine one opened. Or started, sorry. Yeah. Close cross speeds. Flyover. Low 88%. DAs can go on. Fuel pumps are all on. Everything is lovely. Set our squawk code 2000. Let's switch that on. And we're pushing back. This will be it. Uh, once we get there, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. Um. It's 
so yeah. Cool. Right, pushing back. We push back then. I think Concord looks lovely when it's got the nose up, personally. I think it's quite a good look. He's finishing up his push. Operation complete. Set the parking brake. Set parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Auto throttles can go on, auto ignitions can go on. We are getting out of here. Flyover brake fans. Hey, lovely, I can see your photo, Dan. Nice. Looks good. Right, disconnect, go to hand signals. If you want to get taxiing, we'll follow you out in a second once we get cracking. Ease off. There we go. We'll break the nose. <laughs> there we go. Right, we're off. Let's get cracking. Bit of power. He's out of there. Let's get going. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard our uh, supersonic service operation. Today we'll be flying from London. Oh, fly, flying from uh, Helsinki. Oh, no, I need to start again. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard our Concorde operation flight. Today we'll be flying subsonically from Helsinki, Vanta International Airport, all the way up north to Rovemni International Airport uh, in Finland. Uh, our flight today should take about just under an hour, at about 45 minutes, and we look forward to seeing you during the flight. Thank you. <laughs> That's that, that kind of like bad announcement. <laughs> right, we'll follow the other Concorde out. We've got our lights on, anti ice is on, we need to turn on our pressure static heaters, AGS engine probe beaters on, on, on. In the back there, and everything is all good. Flyover, setting, all done. We're going to head up to Rovemni, actually. A bit of a, hopefully, a winter landing if the snow eventually loads in uh, X-Plane 12. We're going to head up to Rovemni. Uh, not quite back to Heathrow, okay, so you head up to Rovemni. How's V3 compared to V2? V3, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's a little bit unstable, so uh, on stream we fly the V3 because I like looking at it in X-Plane. Like, it's lovely to look at, but in terms of if you're not bothered with looks and you just want to fly in a Concorde, I'd stick with the V2 personally. It's just really, really good inside the flight deck in X Plane uh, in X Plane 11. It's just a lovely, a lovely thing. It works so well. So uh, I'd, I'd probably stick to V2. But compared to, v to compared to V2, V3 is you know it's. I think it's good. It's literally the same really. Um, the GUI is slightly different, but in terms of the flight model, it's very, very similar. Um, you could say it's a little bit, little bit act more, a little bit better. There's sort of slightly more quirks to it, which I feel like is a bit more Concorde esque. But apart from that, it's very, very good. Revenue where Santa lives, exactly. Right, it looks like Dan's going down to two two right. Let's go two two left. We might be able to do a sort of almost parallel takeoff. <laughs> Let him go, watch him, and then we'll go. Helsinki traffic speed the Concorde two seventy two crossing runway two two. Right, taxiing out for me. Sorry, crossing 2 2 left, taxiing 2 2 right. Okay, bit of braking. There we go. I'm going go left here. Helsinki traffic, Super Concorde 1 1 Alpha, crossing runway 15 Zulu. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Lovely, right, we're crossing across, making our way up. Daniel's going to be lining up 2-2 two, 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 two left. We're going to be lining up 2-2 two, two right. Um, just, uh, yeah, bit of fun, bit of a bit of difference. I quite like making the long taxi out to 2-2 two, two right. It's quite good fun. We trim for takeoff. Takeoff monitor on. We are all ready to go. On departure then, uh, two miles at right heading two three zero. Flight 
flyover all selected. We're all good to go. The dust and everything's quite impressive coming off the wheels. Very good. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're joining us, we're making our way up to Rovemni now. Taking off from uh, Helsinki and t going up there. Bit quick. Helsinki traffic, Speedway Concord 272, lining up, probably 22 right. Okay, lights are all good. Arm the burners. Daniel, if you're, you're ready to go, you get shooting and then we'll follow you out. There he is over at 22 right, or 22 left, sorry, we're lining up 22 right. <laughs> right, we'll take this fast exit, fast entrance. There we go. Right, onto the runway then. So, landing lights are all good. Light configuration is happy with. We've armed the afterburners. Takeoff monitor is set. The chrono is set for departure too. Checking the back, all good. Auto throttle and auto ignition is all good. We're going to get a lovely view of him taking off here. Here we go. And Speedbird Concorde 272 taking off from a 22 right immediate uh, departure, right right turn heading north there. Speedbird 272. Okay, my, not my finest lineup. I wasn't really paying attention. Here we go. There go, there he goes over the fire runway. He's off. There goes the rotate. Let's open up our throttle and get cracking. <laughs> we're gonna be right behind him. That was quite funny. Nah, we'll, we'll give a bit of spacing whilst we're airborne. There he goes. So he's airborne. Thirty knots. We're rolling. <laughs> One hundred knots, power is set. I can see the Concorde out our left hand side up there. Climbing nicely. If he goes left and we go right, that'd be quite cool. Rotate. Positive rate. We've got to keep an eye on this traffic. Parallel departures quite close. Gear up. Gear are coming up, that's confirmed. Two fifty knots, we're straight through it. Crack off the afterburners there and back up the power. 250 knots quiet. He's turning and will turn. Just to get out of the way. But we'll try and follow him out. Tell you what, we'll just hold it as it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're departing uh, Helsinki. Just for a bit of fun, I thought we'd do a slight parallel departure. We'll maintain our spacing there from the aircraft. We have full visual. I'll let him climb across. We'll hold level for a minute. We'll start our climb again there. Right. So, omnidirectional departure then. We can just do pretty much what we want. So we'll start to make our right hand turn here. We are, of course, in tandem with the company traffic, so we've just got to keep an eye out for where he's gone. No visual, so we'll get the radar up and running. Let's get a track heading on here so I can try and get this thing up and running. Let's get that sorted out. There we go. Oh, my God. Way. That was weird. <laughs> what about the autopilot's up to there? Flight engineer, two flight. There, get that sorted out. From hell, what's going on here? Off. Something's not happy with the autopilot. Oh. Right. Let's get our radar sorted out so we can see where he is. 3,000 feet. Where's the other aircraft? To our right. OK, 
Okay, let's just see if I can get this uh, thing going. Nope. Autopilot. Autopilot's going weird. Hmm. Hmm. See if I can use my Concord knowledge to try and figure this one out. Right, it's uh, just check we've got the uh, visual of the other aircraft. Off to our right. Okay, that's fine. We'll switch to INS navigation. So the INS somehow aligned incorrectly. Because they seem to be trying to take us off on a suicide mission. Guess we're going to fly at Mangle for a bit. Once we figure out what we're doing. Right. Level the wings there. We were. We were I was in heading hold to try and sort it out. See if I get it to, to play. I was trying to sort out the heading bug and see if that's a problem. It was trying to go onto a separate heading, but uh, clearly not. Oh, there we go. Right, it's a bit unnerving, but it's fixed itself, so we'll go with that. Don't know what it's doing, but... Um, So it's a degrading right hand turn. That's not good. That's weird. Looks like we're flying this bird manually for the rest of the flight. Okay, we'll level things there. Hey, that's steep, right. Let's get rid of them flight directors. They're not uh not accurate. Okay. Well, if we're flying it manually, there's worse aircraft to be flying. So, we should have to do a lot of trim to get this thing sorted out. Right, there we go. I'll get the lights off. Wee, it's dropping. Probably not many aircraft I'd say I don't want to fly manually. Concord is uh, very difficult, <laughs> especially in these uh, these high cruises. Right. Right. Trying your technique, Daniel. Work. I can't even keep the nose down it. Right, flight directors, let's try this thing. Yeah, not happy. Still wants to do a max climb and right turn. Look, Look at that. Good God, no idea what it's doing. No idea. Right. We'll just fly it manually. And do our best. Trim the aircraft. Right, I've let go of the stick there. I'm just trying to trying to trim the aircraft nicely. Because I'd preferably have it trimmed. Right, we're going well. Select P and a. Come on. You're right, but the AP, the flight directors are a demonstration of what the autopilot's trying to do. And they're trying to kill us. Now, we'll turn north. I think we'll just be have to be flying this manual. You 
thinking it's ex-pilot. Could have well have been. Could well have been. We've got a real problem with the autopilot, though. I think... Was it something to the INS? Did I push back before they'd aligned properly? I don't think I did, but well, maybe they did. It's going to be very difficult to get the plane to cruise steady with an autopilot that not want to work. Need to fly slightly right though, trust me. Uh, okay. Manual good fun. Ah, uh, yes. Sure it is, Casey. Sure it is. Right. Let's lower the nose slightly. Thank you. 20,000. Good. Try to trim it out. More and more trim down. 350. That's good. Right. Lowering the nose more and more down. You disable seatbelt signs. You're right, I do need to come more right, don't I? Yeah. Very far left. But not that, not as much as the flight directors think we need to come right. <laughs> okay, we'll drift right. Oh, we're dropping, we're dropping, we're dropping. Right, hold steady, hold steady. It doesn't help either the sun's blocking my, uh, <laughs> my instruments. Right, bit of a left turn there, level the wings. Drift up to 380 knots. No, oh, hey. Not flying it too badly, am I? Ah, oh, not the auto I need that. And then we get a bit of an out of control climb there. Lower the nose, lower the nose. Turn AP on, it will work. Uh, I'm reluctant to, Daniel. Have you seen? Okay. Um, I'm not so sure. <laughs> oh, God. Right, hold on. Again, man. Ah, we won't ban you for that, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's working today. It didn't seem particularly happy. I don't, let's go radar, I'll just do the headings myself. Right, so. Level the heading there. Oh, we're coming up to 28,000 feet. Right, load the nose. Wow, look at our vapor trail, it's not looking good. Ay, ay, ay. Right, leveling there. That's alright, it's alright. It's, um. I, d I, I don't know what's quite going on with it, but we'll. <laughs> it's not happy. I'll try and trim the plane out. Right, we're just trimming it out there. I'm using lots of trim. Getting the aircraft stable. Okay. Slight course correction left. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Drifting right. Yeah, we are, aren't we? Just try and gently course correct left. We're drifting a little bit high.
from he. This is uh, certainly interesting. I've not uh, not experienced this. I think it's the INS. I think something went wrong with the INS. I think I'm going to make a diversion. Foxtrot Hotel Alpha is nearby. It's got a 2,000 meter runway. No, that's not worth diversion actually. Not to that airport at least. Ravemni is quite far up is the only problem. Flying uh, without autopilot. EFJV, let's try that one. Okay, don't recognize that. Well, that's a good airport. We'll go with that. EFTP. I think I'm going to try and shoot over there. Well, this dream... Well, haven't this dream... <laughs> nice and steady. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. We're all right, we're just taking it along. All right. Oh, we're drifting back down through 260. Okay. I was looking at some charts there, that's why I'm right. Whoop. Big pitch up there, right, pitch up slightly. Gentle climb. Gentle climb. There we go. It's coming back up. Hadn't this stream been fun? I know, it has, hasn't it? Everything's gone well. Yeah, yeah, gone, yeah. Well, well, well you, sh you keep shooting up. I think I might try and get a nice diversion and an ILS approach going. I can't, uh, I don't think we can sustain a cruise. But, uh, very difficult. What kind of fuel are we on board? Have we got enough to, are we too heavy to land still? Oh, we're nine tons over. Okay. It's quite a lot. A bit more speed, yeah. So I've got the auto throttle on. So the auto throttle is working, but uh, we haven't got uh, our autopilot. Way bumping around. Hmm. Tempting to divert, but then at the same time, it's, uh, it's not too bad. I've just got to sit here. Alpha is overrated, real. <laughs> they do, don't they? Look, we're le it's leveling. Just look at that. It's done a bit of leveling. We are level two eight zero. The wind that that deviation is not me. That's just it naturally doing that. Tell you what, we're going right. If we, I'll, I'll take it bit by bit. It's going right at the moment. So we'll continue on. How do we dump fuel? Let's have a look. See. see if I can work this thing out. The autopilot's flying the planes, so it's fine. <laughs> no, it's, it's not, but it's fine. Right, right, dumping fuel, dumping fuel. Jettison. Aha, low pressure valves. Like that one. Jettison valves. Where are the jettison valves? These are Jetson valves. These are them. Can I operate them? No. How could it go wrong? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, you know. Field F isn't modelled. Really? Ah, oh, in V2, I swear it was. Or did I just shut down the engine that time? I had a massive crash at Gatwick because I was trying to dump fuel when I. I think I must have clicked the shut down. That's a bit of a shame. That's a shame it's not modelled. It's annoying because I can't get rid of any fuel. Do 
They barrel rolled Concorde. Oh, uh, um, the test pilot barrel rolled her at uh, 15,000 feet. He, uh, he barrel rolled Concorde. So it's possible. It's quite a maneuverable plane. That was a bit of a random fact, but it is, you know. I think it's steady. What do you mean made sense why I crashed? I probably hit a button. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> We're getting a lot of problems today. It's not been uh, not been my best stream, has it? If you're new, it's not often like this. Normally it goes well. But uh, today we've had all the problems you can have. Right. Okay, right. Barrel, this is the opportunity to do so. It is, isn't it? We're flying manually. Right, so for barrel rolling then, well, we forget to get the seatbelt signs on. Give them a second to hop in their seats. Right. EFJY. What's that? Doesn't, I don't really understand the name. It's 2,600 metres long. Should we just land there? It'd be quite good fun. A diversion. EFJV. We'll do a barrel roll and then go there. Get some approach information for it. It's got an ILS Zulu runway 3010-119. Let's go put it down there. 304 is the ILS heading. Twelve nautical miles away. Let's make a right hand turn. All right, keep the auto throttle. Right, barrel rolling though, so Okay, level the aircraft. Auto throttle still on. Right. Hey, 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 what have we hit there? Okay, so nice and stable Oop, stable the aircraft. So here we go, nice and quickly, rolling it in, rolling it in there. Hey. Wait, whoa! <laughs> oh god, that was not a particularly clean barrel roll when you look at the vapor trail. We uh, lost, that was not very clean. Let's try that again. So, round, round, round. It's like a more spiral bat. That's not, that's not my finest work. Let's not, let's not look at that. Let's just forget that ever happened. Okay, right, descending. Let's start our descent down then. So, we'll look for 350 knots. Auto throttle works. So let's go for 350, let it do its thing. Let's descend. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the nose is uh, really bumping around. Right. So, my plan is to do a big orbit and land to runway 30. Okay, I'll declare a pan and divert. Pan, pan, pan. Speedbird Cockle 272 descending through flight level 230 for 3000 ILS runway 30 uh, into uh, Javascula in uh, Finland. Pan, pan, pan. Autopilot uh, non functional, uh, unable to fly. Diverting. Uh, Speedbird 272. It's not really like unable to fly. It's not like I made out, but like it's like. This is this. Yeah. Let's do something. Let's do some landing. We'll then pop up and Daniel and watch you land. And we'll do all this another time with some other plane for a bit of fun. Right. Let's continue a right hand turn and reduce our descent rate. And we'll trim the aircraft for descent. Oh, hey, there goes the trim for descent. Whoop. Wee, yay, yay. Right, we're coming down. Flight level 200. It's not my finest stream, it's quite good fun. Should I change it? Oh, do you want me to trim to flight? Okay. Trim to flight, mate. There you go. 
Oh, let's zoom in. Right, we're on the downwind. Hey, oh, a bit steep descent there. Coming down, 300 knots will slow up too. Keep slowing down. In response to your message, um, you can declare um, emergency on Vatsim, uh, but you're, you're correct, I shouldn't really have, uh, as we're not under controlled airspace. So therefore we're not able, it's not that you can't declare an emergency, but they don't want you to try and declare that you have somehow have priority over another aircraft. That's the real thing they don't want you to do, because of course everybody's equal on that sim. But in my case here, nobody's around me. Not that I'm aware of. Yeah. Nobody's really around me. Um, I'm not requesting to have anything special. I'm just trying to land. Wait, yay, yay. Um, so uh, hopefully it's all right. Right, we're slowing down. You're right though, yeah, entirely on the Unicom, you shouldn't. Ah, we have a controller online. One, two, one, three. I'll tell you what, I think, uh, I think I'll disconnect in there. Cool it there. So if he's coming online, this, uh, we're just doing a little diversion thing, so we'll just leave it. Right, 24 nautical miles to go to this airport. Make a big swing round. Okay. Make a big swinging turn round here. And bring ourselves back in towards the ILS. And that will get the visor down. <laughs> this is a bit of a crazy diversion, but it's quite good fun. Right. So, oh, watch our descent rate. Pitch that up slightly. Okay, so I'm looking at the charts on my right hand side here on the screen. Let's get the reversers deployed again. Yep, throttling back. Right, let's level off there. Okay, so. Going around this turn, right round, we've got 25 nautical miles to go there. The ILS is up and running, so we'll follow that in. Okay. Try and hold level there. Allow the speed to keep dropping back. 
Looking for 250. Oh, I forgot I said they're quite high. Okay, 250. We'll keep driving back. I'm going to land at this airfield, guys, and then we'll call it there. Not been the most successful streams, but uh, a bit of fun. Right, pitching up to stop the descent and putting the nose down to 5 degrees. I'm glad we did those practices, eh? Right, let's get the uh, the oak cams up by a little look as we land. Apologies to all those who watch for the professionalism. This hasn't been the most professional either. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's uh, difficult to be, uh, depending on the scenario. Right. This is a good practice in manual flying, though. <laughs> 18 nautical miles, then. Start to close my angle a little bit to the runway. Do we have a visual? Probably not 18 nautical miles. You see the loop I did around the airport, though, trying to keep myself quite close. Uh, although I've ended up a little bit far around here. Right, we'll hold heading here. Keep wandering in towards the airport. Well, hey, the wind's quite quite a gusty little wind down here. Yeah, yeah, we'll come watch you at EFRO. There we go, here comes the ILS capturing at 14 nautical miles. Turn in. I'm just trying to hold altitude here at this point. There we go. ILS captured. Whee. See if we can see anything up ahead. Oh, got visual, visual with the runway. This is really going to be an abstract landing. It's a runway in the middle of nowhere. 12 miles. Continuing at this speed. Right. 11 miles. Drift left slightly, we're just off the centre. There's the runway again. Almost flying. It's almost better to fly like that. Bit of descent there. Eight North Kamaras start to slow up. 220 knots. We'll trim for landing. We will trim to landing. Hey, lots of retrim required there. Visual with the runway. Still a bit heavy for landing. So this is going to be quite quick. So we'll hold about 200 knots for touchdown. We'll arm the burners in case the autosrottle needs it. Especially on an out landing like this. Six nautical miles will go gear down, slowing to 200 knots. I'll lower the nose fully. Visual with the airport. To arrest our descent there. This is what these uh, circuits were practicing us for, though. What a journey we've had, though. We started our stream today all the way up in uh, Heathrow. We made our way, crashed, 
uh, or sim sim crash. We didn't crash. <laughs> in a, we spawn in at Helsinki. Now we're in a random airfield in the middle of Finland. So we've we've had a quite a quite a journey on stream, albeit uh, quite clunky. <laughs> we've certainly been around. Dash seventy five. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? I've got to get the, uh, the touchdown uh, rating. I'll get that for next stream. Actually, I don't quite have it yet. We that's a bit of pitch up. We're we're hovering like we're right over some some heavy trees and foliage around the footing of the runway. Very secluded little airport. 500 feet. Okay, five hundred feet. Carped. Let's just try make some small movements. Bit of a crosswind. Ready to take manual thrust throttle. What's the descent right there? Two hundred. Here we go, I have Total throttled. We're here, we're floating. Whoa. Whoa. And we're down. Reverse is deployed. Whoa. There we go, nose wheel's just about down. <laughs> Lots of braking, come to a stop. Using the rudder pedals here to keep us straight. We'll push the sticks forward to help hold it. Way and we're down. Welcome to this airport. <laughs> very nice airport to have us on a, under our emergency. It's very kind of them. Thank you very much, then. Let's uh, see if I can watch a replay of that. This is where the sim does often crash, so if we come to a stop... We're not on that sim, so I'll just come to a stop there. Let's go flight replay. Oh, it worked! Oh, <gasps> that's rare. Normally, I just get a crash. Oh, right. Hold on. Sorry. So, toggle flight replay. I need to lower the nose. Lower the nose. The con Colimata saves it in whatever configuration you had it in. So, lower the nose. Now, toggle replay mode. Shoot back. Here we go. Tower mode. Have a watch of the landing. Not bad. A bit of, bit of, bit, yeah, a bit early, bit early flare there, and a bit of excess power. I was noting the speed was really dropping back. You see that? The little uh, wingtip curls there. Look there. You see them just about. Ooh. Lovely. We're down. Good tyre effects there on the runway. The nose is really hovering around there. Before finally hitting the deck. Not bad. <laughs> a bit of fun there. <laughs> right, let's check where Daniel is, but I, I I will come watch him off stream. I think I might have to uh, leave it there. I'm running out of time. Oh, he's making good progress. Superb. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Again, I'm really, really sorry for all the disruption and everything. It's been a pretty crazy stream. Uh, <laughs> it's been quite good fun at the same time, but uh, very, very hectic and a bit manic. So thank you very much, everybody. I look forward to seeing you in a in a, a more interesting stream in the future. <laughs> this has been a bit crazy. I'm going to rename it. Uh, <laughs> had some problems. Um, but uh, thank you very much, everybody. Um, I uh, hope to see you all in another Pillar Pilot stream in the future. So thanks very much, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.